Are you a BFSI professional looking for a 40% hike in your domain? Well, you must watch this video till the end because there are lots of pro tips waiting for you. These companies are hiring BFSI professionals and offering them more than 40% of salary hike. But only to those professionals who are a pro in data science and AI. Are you? Well, if not, don't worry. And if you're working in any of these industries, you shouldn't skip this video. So we begin with the foundational learning. First of all, you need to learn programming language. How difficult is it to learn programming, especially for the ones who come from a non-tech background? Well, let me tell you one reality. Anybody can learn programming. It's super easy. And remember, learning programming for software development is very different than learning for data science and analytics. You all have learned a bit of programming in some form or the other in school. You just need to revise and revisit those concepts and you're all set. Well, again over here, a big question comes whether you should learn Python or R. So, Python is more strongly recommended in the industry, especially when it comes to BFSI and R. It was used earlier, but today it is more relevant only to the pharma domain. Now, before we move ahead, I would like to give you a pro tip over here. It is very important for you to learn Excel properly. We all know basics of Excel, but that is not going to be sufficient when it comes to being a pro in data science and AI in the BFSI domain. Because for that, you need to have knowledge of advanced Excel and that is going to be super helpful for you. So remember the pro tip that is become a pro in Excel. And then we move on to the intermediate skills that is statistics, and ML. Statistics. Well, the term is not very unfamiliar, right? Go back to your grade 9. Need median mode? Ring a bell? Yes. So you have already learned statistics, right? You just need to use the same concepts, the same procedures, just in a little more complex manner and you're all set. To learn statistics for a BFSI professional in data science and AI, you don't need to be a mathematician. The knowledge that you have got in school, you just need to apply it in the correct place and you're all set. And then we come to ML. ML is machine learning. Now, when you use ML in BFSI, you need to know about credit risk analytics, fraud detection, etc, etc. Till date, we have learned and applied the concepts. But when it comes to the intermediate skills in BFSI, you need to understand that how you have to make machines learn so that they can apply the knowledge that you give them. And that is with the help of algorithms. So when we talk about machine learning, it's very important to know, understand and apply the correct algorithms so that machines can do the work for you. A very strong recommendation over here is for case studies, especially the case studies from banking domain. Because without case studies, only learning machine learning algorithms is not going to help you. You can get data sets on the internet so that you can work on the case studies. And if you want to work on some real case studies from BFSI, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to LearnBay because we provide you real case studies so that you can work on the data sets and become a pro. Now, after you have got a little bit knowledge about the foundation learning and intermediate learning, let's now move on to the tools that are required for data science and AI in the BFSI domain. Now, these tools can be broadly divided into database tools and data visualization tools. Under database tools, we have SQL, MongoDB. Let me tell you, don't underestimate the power of MongoDB. It is super critical from your interview as well as day-to-day -day work point of view. So mastering MongoDB is mandatory. When I talk about data visualization, over here we have Tableau and Power BI. Next comes the hot topic, the hot concept, which is there in every other domain or rather in every domain. And that is Gen AI. Now, when I talk about Gen AI over here, real time projects and domain knowledge is very, very important because with the help of this, you can solve business specific problems. And that is why Gen AI is very important. Without domain knowledge, it is very difficult to learn on real projects, right? And talking about projects, here is a list of certain projects that you must work in when you are in the BFSI domain equipped with data science and AI. Are you looking for domain specific knowledge in BFSI? So don't worry. Here you can check out our playlist from our YouTube channel. And also let me tell you that we are offering absolutely free counseling for all your doubts from our domain experts. Do call LearnBay and book your slot. And now we move on to the next step that is interview and building strong portfolio. First of all, you need to make sure that you have an ATS friendly resume. And how do you make that? Well, again, just call LearnBay and we are happy to help. Make sure that you have an updated profile on all the platforms like LinkedIn, Nokri, etc, etc. 
and make sure that you add the projects and all the above mentioned skills that you have acquired. Now comes the interesting part and that is salary expectations. Well, when you switch companies, you obviously want a hike, right? But do you know that without upskilling, you might just get what's the market rate that is 10 to 15% high. For that, you need the backing of data science and AI specifically in the BFSI. Because if you're looking at a 30 to 40% high, so if you have any doubts or questions, please comment below and our experts will answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos and tutorials. At LearnBay, we learn here, but we lead anywhere. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video.